Hi everybody, it's Kelly, also known on Twitter as Kelly1977, and today is October 14th, about 10 a.m., and I literally just got up about 20 minutes ago, but I did do my face. I did it with a toner, and I also put a new face cream on, so first thing in the morning, that's what I look like. And I'm going to turn you around so I can show you the October Glum Bag today. This came in Saturday, so since my husband is now at school again, I can show it to you. So this is her face on it, and it has a B, and this is actual metal, which I'm surprised. And then it's like sparkly. And what I received, of course, you always get the directions with tips. But I received this. If I can. Okay. I got this. And this is the face cream. And it is supposed to add hydration to your face. You can use it as a lotion, or you can put it on lightly and wash it off in 10 minutes and use it as a mask. It's got a blue tint to it. And I picked that one out. That's the one I wanted. They sent me this, which is a serum that helps minimize fine lines around your eyes or your mouth. You can use this every day. I got this blush. I don't know if it's a regular blush or if it's like a bronzer. Um, I got one like this and I put it on and I was like, oh, that's not exactly for your eyes. It's a bronzer. But that's what it comes in. And then I got the Betty Boop Mascara. So, um, I guess Betty Boop is now a makeup company. And uh, they sell the eyeliners, lipsticks, lip liners, mascara, etc. And then I got this gel ultra define liner for your eye um, I don't usually use gel around my eyes so I probably would just give this away as a gift to somebody who I think will use it and it's supposed to be a hunter green color now along with this other products from the Glenn bag I have been using is I use this one about four times a week in the shower and it is to cleanse your pores and also to tighten your skin. This is a glow mask cleanser. You put it on, you work it in, and you rinse it off, and it works fantastic. I think I have like two applications left, and I've had this for two months. This I use once a week, and it is a Canadian gray clay mask. You work it into your face. It is a light gray color and um, it hardens on your face and then you wash it off in 10 minutes. And uh, I needed to get some pads and some cotton balls to use this one. But this one you put on after you wash your face. And it's made with salt water. And it is supposed to tone your skin naturally using the sea water you shake it up and down really good to activate it you put it on a cotton uh, makeup thing you put it on your face for 30 seconds work it in wait 30 seconds take a cotton ball add water to it wipe that over it and it's supposed to activate the ingredients so these four things are things that I do use throughout the week um, I did try this a couple of times. This is what I got last month, which says a curl gel for your hair. Um, so you can make curls with it and it's supposed to hold the curls all day. Or you can use it in damp hair to help with frizz control. So that's how I use it. And I don't need to use a lot. You can see this is not a huge bottle. And I still have a good amount. And then 
this is the lotion that I've been using just for my hands and arms now since I have all this other stuff for my face but I was briefly using it on my face it smells great I'm not sure if it moisturizes very well but yep that is the October Glen bag um, the Glen bag is now $12 instead of 10 and they have an ultra bag if you want to do that one again I'm not sure how much that one is but I know the Glam Plus bag is $25 now and uh, each bag you can choose one item that you're guaranteed to get everything else you may get or you may not so if they were out of the Betty Boop mascara you might get a different kind of mascara from a different company um, but they really try to keep up with what the product is. Like, if you're going to get eyeshadow, they try not to give you blush kind of thing. So, that is that. And we had a grandson over. We watched him Thursday. He slept over. We dropped him off Friday afternoon. We got him again Saturday at 1. And he got picked up yesterday at 10. So, he had a fantastic time with his toy truck. Um, yesterday, I had enough energy to go ahead and do some housework. It really needed to be done. Uh, I got to clean out his playpen, but he's got all his little toys. Peppy, just, you know, being Peppy. She's like, what? Leave me alone. I'm tired to be this out all weekend. So, she got a little moody, and she did not want to eat when he left yesterday. She actually ate at 5.30 at night. And then she wanted to eat again at 9.18, so I let her. But uh, yeah, she gets a little emotional and then she doesn't want to eat when he leaves. And for those of you who do not know, my grandson is 17 months. Um, so he is learning how to balance properly. He can walk, but he does fall down. Um, and we let him play. And the pots and pans down here. This doesn't turn on on the bottom. So he really enjoyed playing drums with that. Uh, so as you can see we taped up these. So that he can't get in there. Because we keep food. Cleaning supplies and stuff in there. So we did that to try to keep them out of there. Because uh, these swell up in the summertime. And you can't close them all the way. So there's really no way to put a latch on the inside of it. And I got this game for Switch yesterday. The first one, the theft one. Um, I know on Steam for PC, that is a $20 game. I got it for $1.35. I had 552 points. So every time you buy a game on Switch, you get points. Um, and I know they started this a while ago with the 3DS, because 3DS has a store not the regular DS and uh, it worked out pretty well so with my points that was five dollars and fifty two cents taken off and then it was on sale for six seventy nine and uh, I'm at a part with the lock and I'm having a really hard time figuring out how to do it it's very frustrating and then I broke down and I got this one Diablo Story of Seasons um, this is a $50 game if anybody's interested. It reminds me of Run Factory. I do believe they're using the same engine for Run Factory 4. It looks just like it. A little, the character's a little cartoonish though. Um, and Diablo is the blue cat who's a robot. And this is a Japanese cartoon for children. Um, that they decided to make a little story with. So the story of this is the boy to the left with the net needed to come up with a science project. He couldn't think of anything and he was running out of time. He found this seed that he'd never seen before outside, planted it, him and his friends, and it magically grew in front of their face. And then a storm came in and they went through a black hole and now they are in this land. Um, I kind of think this may be from the future and that he lives in the present. Um, and it's surrounded by a tree that's ancient. 
and a goddess protects it. But only one lady can see this goddess, and she's very old, and her grandson thinks she's senile. So, I'm guessing as the story goes, I will be able to meet her or help her in some kind of way. I gotta find uh, gadgets. I think I have to find eight to um, go back to where I came from. But in the meantime, I meet everybody in town. Um, this game has 22 characters, including yourself and the people you came with. Um, you get a farm to live on that's abandoned. You don't have to pay for it in any kind of way. You just, you know, do your thing. Uh, you can fish. You can catch bugs. You can mine. Um, there's a lot of things that you can collect during the seasons to sell or give away as gifts. Um, they do have the seashells here like they did with this one, Harvest Moonlight of Hope. I'm like halfway through that game. Um, so they kept that in there. Um, basic farm animals though, a cow, a sheep. Um, over time, dogs, stray dogs and cats will come and you can befriend them. I don't know if you can have them as a pet or not. Um, you actually have a little pond on your land that you can fish in so you don't have to go anywhere. There's two beaches. Um, on these beaches you can find random items to build with if you have the storage base. Um, you can buy separate recipes, which are very expensive. You can buy five sets of cookware that I can see right now. A rolling pin, a stew pot, a frying pan, etc. Um, you start off with the most smallest house I've ever seen. I want to say it's a 4 by 6 I have a chair that was given to me for free from the guy who makes the furniture. I have a bed and I have a dresser. That's it. Um, it's This is supposed to be the English version. And it came out October 11th. And the Japanese version came out June 18th, I believe it was. And uh, I don't know what took so long for ours, us to get our copy. Because it's not in English. So they're talking Japanese. And you have to read everything they're saying. Um, the tutorial was an hour long. I almost fell asleep. So the first hour for me was very boring. I mean, I played these games before. There's only certain amount of buttons you can press. It's kind of the same thing. But that's just my opinion. Um, this game doesn't have as many trees to chop down. And I don't know if you can buy trees to replant. But they have the... Um, willow trees in it. Uh, but there is plenty of pieces of branches that you can make wood pieces from. Stone. you got to level up your stuff just like you do in every Harvest Moon game. So you can do more things. Um, I found a cave. And I don't know if that's part of the goddess story. But there's nothing in it. Um, you get a lot of things for free in this game because these these village people are very nice, and they love to have new people come. So you get a fishing pole for free. You get basically everything you need to get for free. But at certain days of the first month. Um, so I walked into the mining area, and I got a little cut screen. And they said they were going to give me an axe, a pickaxe, so I can mine. But I didn't have any space. So now when I play it today, I have to make sure I have space and try to find them so I can get it. Same thing happened with the fishing pole. I didn't have any space. Had to wait until the next day. Um, there's lots of festivals. I believe each month is going to be four. So it's nice to see which ones they have. They have the horse racing one. Um, they have the regular cook one. You know, you, you bring a dish that you cooked. Um, they have one for uh, your best crop that you think you have. You bring it with you and uh, you give it to the mayor. To check your stuff. To see how much money you're making. How much money you have. Um, if you're 
uh, all about your animals, how much everything goes for. So you can see like, oh, potatoes, they only cost 50 coin and I can make 350 from them. Maybe that's the crop you want to go ahead and continue to uh, use. You're able to do that. There are achievements in this game and the achievements are all listed um, with a title. So you kind of have an idea of what you're doing. Um, you can have, again, chickens, cows, sheep. I believe you get a horse for free because it's a horse racing contest. And everything on the farm, like Light of Hope, you have to rebuild. So it's going to cost a lot of materials. It's going to cost a lot of money. So it's going to give you plenty of things to do. If you like the fishing, do more of that. If you like the mining, you do more of that. I just like to run around and see what I can find. And I keep the pink seashells to give as gifts. Because apparently seashells everybody loves. So kind of can't go wrong with that. And everything else that I find, I sell. Um, just to make some money. So it's pretty cool. It does have kind of a quest in it. Um, you go to the general store. I don't know if the other stores are like this. But you go in there and it'll say something, something. Maybe it'll say like Peter, Peter Pie or something. And it'll say zero. So I didn't know what it was. So I pressed it and it was actually a quest. So she asks you to deliver items to people and you get a reward. You may not get cash, but you always get something. Um, so I just got a golden statue of that blue robot cat to put on my farm as a decoration piece. I have to find Pete and I have no clue who he is. So that's going to be interesting because I don't think I met the guy yet. So I've been running around for a couple days in game trying to find the guy. This is the biggest map I've ever seen. It has 12 locations. I don't know if there's going to be a secret location. I'm guessing there is because if you go all the way up the mountain, which is a maze, by the way, so you can end up going down by accident, you can see the ancient tree there. And it's huge. And it looks old. But I can't figure out how to get to that location again. So I'm thinking at the end is when you can finally get back to the location. But the old lady did say... The only way to see the harvest, the goddess, is to be by the tree because that's where she lives. So that's a little confusing. Um, it has memories in it. And it's just major, major things that happen in the game. You can rewatch them as a movie once you collect them all. There's 38 of them. I have three. And I've been playing for about two and a half hours. Um, I don't see any way to buy any clothing or make any clothing. Um, I was hoping they was going to have, you know, like, I, I think it was uh, Tale of Two Towns on the 3DS where you could go and you could buy flowers and you could pick what flowers you wanted in it and give them as a gift to the girls. They don't have anything like that. There's no jewelry or special paintings or anything like that. So that's that's a letdown. Um, for 50 bucks, I was hoping for a little bit more gift giving. Or even you go buy the material, uh, buy the blueprint, and make it yourself. That would have been nice to see for a $50 game. Because Light of Hope was 30 and I was happy with that price for what it offered. This isn't that different from Light of Hope, except the graphics are different. You can't use the touch screen pad again, which is ridiculous. This is a switch. It's supposed to be a handheld Wii, basically, and you still can't play Harvest Moon games with just a touch screen. I've never heard of anything. And that's why I like Light of Hope so much, is that I press the touch screen to go ahead and farm, so I'm not farming in the wrong area. But other than that, I can't use touch screen for anything else. So, I don't know about that one. But uh, 
you know, so far that's that game. I can't, I mean, I haven't played it long enough to really give a 10 out of whatever. But if I was going to or somebody was to ask me, at this point I would say it's a 5 out of 10. Um, everybody does have hearts by them. I'm not sure if you can romantically be with anybody because these are supposed to be like 14, maybe 13, 14 year olds. Um, I don't know if Japan would actually put something like that. Maybe not get married and have children, but uh, just like go on dates and stuff. So I'm not sure about that, but everybody does have a heart that you fill up. And it's 10 hots. I'm sure the different colors. And I'm sure every two hots, an event will happen. Um, and it makes it sound like as long as you do everything right, you'll get all 38 memories. But it also sounds like you can maybe not get them all and have to replay it. So it may have replayability in that way. If it does... I'm hoping you can skip the tutorial that's an hour long because that's ridiculous. There's not too much to this game that has to be an hour long. Um, and then the Thief Simulator that I got for the Switch. Um, the tutorial on it isn't very good. So it tells you to hit the plus sign. I hit the plus sign. It says... Take the crowbar, hit Y. I hit Y, nothing happened. I didn't know I had to hit it on an area that didn't have a hand mark. <laughs> so uh, that took me about 20 minutes to figure out, which is ridiculous. Um, and then I'm at this lock place, and it, look, I have to practice a doorknob lock, and it's supposed to be easy, and I do great at dying light. Um, you know, break it into extra hard locks. And I can't figure this out. And it's very aggravating. And nobody has a tutorial for Switch. They have it for the PC. And the PC looks like it's easier. Because you can control the mouse better. Than the little right stick. You actually have to hold the B button. And move the right stick at the same time. And it'll tell you, you know, more more to the left, more to the right, and you do it, and it's not doing anything. And it's very aggravating. So I really do think they need to update that, because it shouldn't be that hard. Um, so I'm not, like, too far into the game to figure out if I like it or not. Um, I guess the first place you start off with is uh, a poor area, so there's not much to really steal. Um could find a little bit of cash, could take a toaster, a frying pan, you know, there's, there's not too, too much right now that I can see, but uh, I do believe as you become a better thief and unlock more skills that uh, you go to better areas, so hopefully I'm right with that. Um, so really not too much I can say with that, I maybe played for an hour last night. And um, because my carpal tunnel and tendonitis, my right arm was killing me trying to do that lock one. So I don't know if you can bypass it after a certain amount of time or what, but it's very frustrating right now. So I'm glad that I didn't get it on the computer for 20 and I only paid $1.35 on the Switch. Other than that, not too much more going on. Uh, my mother's going to come over for a couple hours tomorrow to see me. Um, I try to make my, I call them rounds, but I try to make my rounds on the weekend to call people. So I'll call my son one weekend, call my father one weekend, call my sister one weekend. And this way I am talking to everybody, but not for hours and hours at a time. And then I cat set for the landlord. So she'll be home sometime today. And uh, for the next three weeks, we will have our grandson on Sundays, and he will sleep over. So uh, that's fantastic. My birthday and my husband's birthday is this month. His is 21st. Mine's the 27th. Um, so we're not sure if we're going to be really doing anything with that. Uh, 
our children did say there's a corn maze and you pay ten dollars to do it so uh, you do it during the day so you can see what you're doing um, so we'll probably maybe check that out um, and they got you know some souvenirs you can buy and they have food for um, you know Halloween so uh, we may just go ahead and do that that way we're not out all day and it's it's not too much for me with the way my body is but if you did watch this I do appreciate it if you want to share this go right ahead if you want to ask me anything have any concerns or comments always leave them down below um, any PC video games you think you might want me to play it has to be Steam only because I can't record anything else unfortunately just let me know and there's one more thing I wanted to say Yesterday, I forgot I had an ASMR video pre-recorded from a few weeks ago, so I posted it, and I had somebody go on there and be very rude to me. I want to say, if you don't like my videos, what I offer, please don't watch, but there is no need to go on there and be rude to somebody. That is trolling, and that is wrong. And YouTube really, really needs to crack down on that. What if I was very vulnerable? What if I was going through something that pushed me over the edge to do something dumb? People need to be aware that you can't do this to people. If you walked up to somebody and said something rude and trolled them in person, you get punched in the face. Just remember that, people. Probably would happen. If there's anything that you ever want to tell me, oh, your vlogs are too long, or you ramble too much, or you, you jump from one topic to the other, let me know. I'm fine with that. I'm not fine with people saying my videos are trash and garbage and you give up and I'm a loser. And those things do not need to be said. They are ridiculous. And people who watch my vlogs get an idea of the person I am, but nobody knows me and nobody knows what I've been through. So I just wanted to say that at the end of this video. If you do watch, I appreciate it. It is long, but I do know it's been about eight days since I posted Evie Log. So I just want to let everybody know how me and my family are doing. Again, if you did watch this, I do appreciate it, and I hope you have a great week.